viewers welcome back to my channel if this is your first time tuning on then you're welcome please do not forget to like share and subscribe and if you haven't turned on the bell icon that is the notification bell so please do turn on the notification bell so whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to be notified so today guys we're gonna be doing another spring twist this one is brown color it's not really black like the other one i did if you guys watched the other videos the other video that i did a spring box and then you know it's actually the same steps but we are just gonna do this one and it's someone different so it's gonna look different we are not gonna add this one we're just gonna um braid it the way it is so guys please if you're interested in this video please do stay tuned and please 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 do not forget to give the video a thumbs up so let's hit into it So guys, if you remember the last video, I was showing you guys how I pull this hair up. So if you really want to know how to pull it up and you know what I'm saying, you just go and watch the last video, which I did a spring box. But this one is a different color, but it's the same steps. It's the same steps that you're supposed to use to pull your hair extension. So please just follow it. and. so guys here we're gonna start the hair actually why doing the hair we had a lot of g's that i'm gonna be telling you guys why watching the video so right here she was just telling me like it's been long since since she did her hair and i was asking her like how long and she told me it's like maybe one year something like that so because here it's so difficult to find someone that can braid your hair so all the time we wear wigs <laughs> we wear wigs in winter summer spring autumn and all of those things like that yeah guys so it's very difficult to find someone that can braid your hair and the people that you can find they are pretty expensive so yeah yeah some are expensive and some you have to travel very far to get to them so because everyone is kind of busy so a lot of people always just um buy their wigs and wear so that is it that is how it is that was what she was telling me don't worry i'm gonna be sharing more um a lot of the g's we were talking about because i actually kept them down so while you're watching this video i can be sharing with you everything we were talking about so please 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 do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and please if you're still watching me and you haven't subscribed do subscribe like this video and share okay thank you so guys while i was braiding the hair something actually happened um because the brown hair that you saw me um pulling it off we actually bought it from Taobao, but that was not the hair we intend to buy we were actually buying something different but the what can i say they sent us that the, the 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 sellers actually sent us that one so i was like kind of like what kind of hair is this like it was really soft and i really do not know like if it was gonna give that braid or not but actually with hairs like this the hair is supposed to be soft but this one was extremely soft and i really do not know how it was gonna be so I was actually trying it out to see if it was gonna work or not and I did but guys just see how it came out it wasn't really good so I actually braid the hair and I had to undo it back because <laughs> it really did not give that braid you know what I'm talking about you know the bangs in spring box that we when we when you braid you're expecting to see we did not see that so we had to undo the 
undo the hair and use the one that we bought from another store like the same store but the first time i bought the same hair it came what i wanted and the second time i bought the same hair it did not come it did not they didn't send me what i ordered they sent me this gold one yeah so when i braided i saw that it wasn't giving me what i was expecting and i had to use the other one so we actually managed the the hair extension so it can fit all in and i was happy that everything went so well we did not try to manage the hair but it was still cool it wasn't that bad guys it wasn't that bad as you can see but it really did not give give us what we expecting like for this spring box it's supposed to be perfect that is what i know so i had to undo back the hair and that was it and we actually used the other extension that doesn't have a brand on it you remember in my last video i showed you guys the two the different kind i showed you guys about the gold and the one that we got from Taobao. it didn't have like any brand on it so that was the one i actually used on her hair yeah so so guys i actually continued braiding the hair but i was actually i wanted because actually i wanted to see the end result of it but when i finished braiding the hair i noticed like it wasn't giving me what i wanted so i had to undo it that is the reason why though she was telling me like no i should allow it you know i always like to do my things perfect and i don't really want something to be nasty yeah something like that because if actually i start with the hair and it's not giving me the same like what we're expecting to have and at the end of the day we go ahead to use the other hair it's gonna show a lot of different which will not be nice so that is why i had to go ahead to undo it so i took the other hair extension and then i end up braiding the hair so here is the hair extension you see that after braiding the hair it actually gave something super good not like the other one it was really bad not like the other one the other one was cool but it wasn't it, it wasn't good it was like after some time it was gonna undo by itself so that is why i had to change it and pr probably we did not use that hair at the end of the day because it wasn't good but we actually managed the fuel that we had and it was okay so that was it so guys while watching the video i'm gonna share with you the z's we were talking about so i was telling her about this one time that i went to the metro station so i was kind of depressed and i needed to use the restroom so i didn't know how to say restroom in chinese so <laughs> um so i actually called her to see if she could remember but like she didn't know she didn't pick up the phone i called other people but nobody actually picked up the phone so i was kind of stranded and before i noticed my phone went off like it actually switched off like i i had low battery and i didn't know what to do at that point like i needed to use the bathroom so badly but i could not say in chinese that please can you show me where the bathroom is i did not know how to say it and at that point in time i was actually reading everything i saw but i could not find the bathroom so i was so depressed and i didn't know what to do and my phone was as my phone was switched off so i actually tried all way i tried to see if i could find some people that could speak english but unfortunately for me i did not know how to i didn't know how to like I actually unfortunately for me i didn't find someone that could understand me everyone was like I, I don't understand you i don't understand you i'm like oh my goodness what am i supposed to do and at the end of the day just my reaction like i was kind of shaking <laughs> just my reaction the 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 the, the guy the, the actually the guy that was um i asked for help from she he was looking at me and he was like um that i should come do i mean the toilet do i mean the toilet and 
and because he actually called me back because he saw my reaction and maybe he just figured out like oh this girl is actually asking about the toilet something like that so that was what happened and i didn't know what he was saying and i just said yes i mean the toilet and he was like oh i'm so sorry i did not understand actually just go on your right go on your left and all this kind of thing he had to explain to me i actually did not have the time to tell him oh my goodness thank you so much for showing me the toilet and all those things like that so actually when he just explained to me i actually just ran to the direction which he had explained and i went ahead and i found the toilet and i used the bathroom and when I came out out I was like wow this is so terrible like I couldn't I didn't know how to say please can you show me the toilet but actually these are simple things that we are supposed to know but I really did not know how to say it like nobody actually understood me so that day i came back and told the guy like oh thank you so much that you actually try to understand with me because not everyone will actually you know you know what i'm saying like even try to listen to you or maybe try to figure out what you're saying i just thanked the guy and he was actually laughing at me because he saw my reaction i really i was so depressed and i needed to pee so that was what happened and since that day i actually started learning how to use like simple words in chinese like trying to figure out the simple words that i could use just in an emergency yeah i tried it started learning online and all of those things like that because it's very it's important to know the basis of chinese chinese is difficult guys but it's very important for us to know like the basis like just in case of an emergency you know what to say like maybe even you say one just like part part like some people can understand you but at time if you're lucky you can get to meet a chinese that can speak english that's the thing so <laughs> at time it's really complicated just in case you you cannot find someone like you're not really lucky like the way i was not lucky that day just in case you're not you don't happen to find someone that can speak english then then you need to figure out what to do actually guys with our phones we have translation but just so unfortunately for me that day i i my phone my 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 phone went off so there was no way for me to even translate and show to the guy because that's the number one means of communication with the foreigners we use our phone we use an app you can use baidu and maybe chinese translation app other apps that you can use there are a lot of different kind of apps that you can use to speak chinese or other languages so uh, that was unfortunately for me my phone went off that was what happened so if you have your phone with you like you're confident but if you don't have a phone at all then you need to learn how to speak chinese just a little i mean just the basics just in case of an emergency that was what happened yeah so guys so uh, actually that was the first story i have a lot we had a lot of stories we were actually sharing i was sharing stories and she was also doing the same so we're gonna be sharing as time goes by and guys hey don't forget to give the video a thumbs up please please please, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and guys and also to braid hair is really tiring like you really need to be patient and really wait yeah so that's one of the things that happened guys i'm gonna continue the story of that day yeah <laughs> i'm gonna continue the story and and more of other stories so please just 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 stay tuned so guys let's move to the next story so the next story was like there was a time that i had an interview and what happened was like um i was at home and actually for that day i programmed myself that i was gonna go i was gonna braid my hair because i actually braid my hair all by myself that i always do that all by myself i don't have any assistant like someone that can help me to braid my hair actually it's not like i don't have somebody that can braid my hair but 
most of the times i love to do my hair by myself because i'm self-confident like what i'm actually doing it's yeah it's me and i'm gonna love it so that's why most of the times i love to braid my hair and it's new. and i know how to do my hair so why should i go out and let someone else braid my hair i can only go out um for someone else to braid my hair just in case i cannot braid the style that i want to have on my hair so that is when i can go ahead to let someone braid my hair but if it's a style that i can do it all by myself i would prefer to do it and save some catch you know what i'm saying yeah so that day i programmed that i was gonna braid my hair at home and i had the interview that same day probably um i was braiding my hair knowing that at five o'clock i was gonna have that interview so i got up in the morning trying to braid my hair so fast so before five i must have finished braiding my hair so around two o'clock like i was almost about to get finished around two o'clock the guy called me and he told me like hey Rena, are you free right now and i'm told like no i'm not kind of free like, and he said oh i'm so sorry i'll not be available at five o'clock and tomorrow i'm traveling so can you come now i'm like really she, you want me to come right now she said yes and i'm like okay okay he said yes it's a guy so he said yes i'm like okay 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 I was trying to figure out what to do with my half hair actually what happened was that I braided the front part of it and I also braided the back part of it so what was left was the middle part of it and it was same I was actually did but spring box the same but I did a black color of it so I was at a point in time I was trying to figure out what to do I was I, don't, I didn't know I was thinking like to tie it it was really hot it was summer and I was thinking like should I tie it and go like that or what am I supposed to do so I, I went to the mirror I was kind of I was freaked out and I'm like what am I supposed to do right now at this point in time what am I supposed to do so what I did was I actually held the hair in front it was looking like it was really finished and i was confused like what am i gonna do with the back part of it and because i'd already braided the back like from like i don't know how to say it like my, my back head was really braided already it was already braided and only the middle part only the middle part was not braided so what was what i did was to hold the part like i held the hair all behind my hair and <laughs> i remember taking a particular picture if i have a picture i'm going to show you i remember taking a particular picture on that day my face was so shiny but at the middle part of it I, <laughs> my head was empty so that was how i did it and when i checked on the mirror no trace of my hair was showing i was like oh my goodness this is super amazing like i can just let it i can just allow it like that for some time and that was what happened i just actually i just held the hair and tied it just the way i was supposed to tie it and then i went for the interview when i got there i was like scared because some of the chinese that came with my hair like oh my god your hair is so nice how did you do it did you braid it by yourself and other things like that i'm like oh yes i did it by myself and they said is it your hair i'm like no it's a hair extension they didn't understand me so i just told them it was my hair and period that was the end of the day and when i went to the bus the guy was like oh a man telling me my hair it's so cool that he really loves my hair and we were going to the details you know what i'm saying and then when i finished at the interview i came outside and i met the chinese they really wanted to exp like they wanted to carry an experiment on my hair so they were really touching it and i'm like please 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 don't touch the back pad don't touch the i mean the bad the bad pad like imagine they had to touch my hair and in the middle of it like maybe what i used to tie my hair with it just goes out what am i gonna do so that's how they were really touching it and like trying to feel it on the on the like the under part of it trying to figure out how it is we know how chinese they are very curious when they see a black person and with like maybe how can i say it with hairs like that 
yeah really kind of curious like what is going on why is they here like that yeah they're really curious and they really don't know much about black people's hair some do know and most of those people that know they are those that have really lived out of the country before but those people that have been like here like most of them they don't know they're really kind of curious like why is her hair really thick and something like that yeah some stuff like that so uh they actually touched my hair and all the things like that and they were like wow they really like it they really want their hair to be like that and i'm like yeah 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 and i'm like okay okay let me just hold my hair anyhow it is and <laughs> that was what happened that was it and i'm like okay I hope you're enjoying the video look she's so pretty in the video she looks so good I actually love the color because it really fit her so badly yeah guys the hair really fit her as you can see and I was happy that she she was loving it actually guys we're almost coming to the end of this video so please just stay tuned to the end of the video and please if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed please do subscribe like and share so guys finally we're done with the hair and probably this is how it looks like actually um, in the last video i did i showed you guys what i did after i finished braiding the hair actually there is not too much work when you're done braiding the hair apart from the fact that you need to trim the hair from the under part yes you need to trim the hair so you can make the hair to like you give the hair some shape and something like some things like that so please if you did not watch if you did not watch the last video please just do go watch it and see what i did thank you guys we've come to the end of this video and i hope you guys love the video like i always say guys please do not forget to like this video share and subscribe and also turn on the bell icon so whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to be notified thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video bye i'm so happy oh my gosh thank you so much babe Bye guys, like and subscribe to this channel, okay? <laughs>